So now let's start with the TypeScript. So in previous video, we have seen a complete run of our protector project, which was on JavaScript. Now we will see the same for the TypeScript and we will see a bit like just like a thousand feet overview of all these applications. There's a difference between JavaScript and TypeScript. We won't be going much deep here. So let me start with showing you the code. So you have to navigate to the folder where you installed your uh just a second where you installed your protector so i installed my protector and pr demo i will go to node modules here i will find the protector installed and all other these dependencies are just a uh, dependency for protector i came here i can see so this example we already seen a deep dive into this what this line of code means how we can set up in our own local machine now we will see the TypeScript. So we will go to the TypeScript or I can just export the whole TypeScript folder. So you can select this TypeScript and you select here. Now let's see here what is the difference. Now you can see it comes with too many files. We will see all these files in detail in our next video where I'm going to set this thing in inside Angular project in E2E. But just to give you a brief overview, the package.json is just like a, a, a POM XML file in Maven. It will have all the dependencies. So whenever you're running this file, it will cr create a node module folder here and it will install all those uh, folders which you're writing here. So for example, if you need a report for Jasmine, you just add that report and when you will say npm install, it will install for you now all these tests we can call from here so you can see test protector and it's calling the configuration file other thing why it is calling a ten, uh, configuration file from temp not directly because this is a java uh, let me show you first the conf file where is the conf file okay now this is a ts file so for this ts file you have to first compile into javascript because you can run only java script uh, from that command from so you can see to run this example first transpile it into javascript so now let me explain you before explaining anything else what is like a bit uh, overview and difference between javascript and typescript so let me bring my notepad where i have already written some of the points and we will be discussing these points relationship to javascript what is the relationship between javascript and typescript so you can think of this in a way that TypeScript uh, is a superset of JavaScript. So JavaScript is a kind of, you can say TypeScript. So when you are converting to TypeScript, you're adding a bit more functionality, mainly the types. So JavaScript plus types will give you the uh, TypeScript. And now enhanced I, uh, IDE support, what does this mean? So if you will see when I'm writing something in JavaScript and if I have some interface class or any utility, when I will say dot, it won't give me all the methods from it. But in TypeScript, we get this functionality. Like for an example, I'm in importing config from protector. So there is a config in protector. If I will remove the G from here, it will give me an error. It will say, hey, uh, you can see that config is uh, declared, but it is not never used. Oh, sorry. This is another thing it is giving me because it's okay let me show you again okay module there is no exported member and it's giving me a hint did you mean config and i will say yeah i mean config so you see it's, it's recognizing it so whenever you're writing a code there is a less uh, possibilities of mistake here strict null checks so if i want to define something here let's say I, I'm defining something this config and I'm removing this thing from here. It will give me an error because it don't know what type is it. So it will ask me to add a type. So you cannot define anything like undefined thing. So there is nothing in undefined in TypeScript. Everything you have to define here. So this is the other part like where it will give you a benefit of using TypeScript. Compilation. So this is a biggest difference between JavaScript and TypeScript. And you guys will think, okay, now TypeScript is bad because we, there is a one more added layer between running the code and writing the code. You have to compile the code. 
but this is good during the compilation you can find too many issues so in javascript until unless you run it you won't get the issue you cannot catch the issue but here you can catch the issues from just from the id or when you're compiling it will give you a compilation error another point is how i can convert a javascript into a typescript very simple you just go on a file which is a javascript you change it from .js to .ts and that is converted into typescript okay then adaptation adoption so like who is supporting this thing and why we should go to um, typescript why we are not going to the javascript so typescript is an open source and its license is for with apache it's apache 2 licensed i think and it's like it's completely available on github and this is backed by microsoft and you can read more about this on google there are like a lot of things uh, you can see so how to run this project you will see the spec file looks bit different you can see we are importing some config then we are setting this in config we have some capabilities which we were having earlier there also and then we are giving this host name actually this is not necessary we will discuss these things afterwards so you cannot run this like if i will run this file it will give me error so let me show you uh, okay so i will say protractor space conf so this was the previous command we used when i will run this it will give me error it won't run this file and it will say failed to load this thing okay and then here it will tell me one more thing that you need to compile this uh, where is it cannot find a module conf fail to load this and yeah so for the compilation now i cannot compile this too because i don't have a node module so first i have to do a npm install for this what npm install will do it will install all the packages which are there in package.json and for then i will run this command npm run tsc what this tsc means it's a typescript compiler so i want to install this to run that once it is installed that will run and it will create a temp folder here and it will convert all my typescript files into javascript files so you can see that's why when we are giving when we are trying to run protector we are saying conf.js because when we will compile it it will compile this conf file into js file and will keep in temporary folder so these are the some of the builds which we can write in package.json so we do not have to run again and again these things it's here and let me show you the page object here okay this is a con file uh, spec this is a spec you can see it's giving me some error cannot find describe okay no problem so here you can see i am exporting this angular home and all my methods are in angular home so let me show you what is angular home this is angular home here i have created different different methods like set name and from here i am sending the keys so i am not sending keys from uh, there itself so there is one more like this is a kind of page object model here and sending keys so you can call this method to send keys and we are using browser element and by from protector so we can import these things from protector here so not going much deep into this angular project because in next we are going to see so i'm not going much deep i'm just explaining you because if you want to start from here at least you should be having some idea why we are using this thing and for more details you can go and read the readme where it tells you what are the different folders here i will just go from all these like i will just read all these things within a minute and i won't take much time here node modules we already know what is a node module whenever you will install any dependency it will go under node module you can think of it like a dot m2 folder maven repository so this is a repository for npm node package manager temp folder so this is like a build folder in java where you have a classes and all the classes will be compiled there here we have a temp and all the javascript will be compiled here git ignore you can add some of the uh, uh, folders here which you, which you do not want to commit on git 
so let me show you it will be here okay it's not here so forget it angular page dot uh, ts this is a page object example they gave us this is also the same configuration for the page object ja package dot json we have seen it it contains dev dependencies and uh, production dependencies readme file we are reading this spec dot ts this is a spec example spec ts config this is just telling something for the compiler so these are the compilation you can say commands or the parameters what it is giving here so this is all about like the angular typescript project in next video like actually the series is starting in next video from next video we will set up a project and we will start from there so see you in next video please do subscribe to this channel and comment uh, comment if you have any doubt or if you want to give suggestion i will try to implement those in my videos thank you see you bye